is Joe Glines, and today I'm going to demonstrate a script I wrote using AutoHotKey to uh, to help with our um, verification of our website, as well as uh, testing when we're launching new pages and whatnot. Um, so one of the big uses when we come up with a new page, uh, we need to go through and verify every URL, um, every hyperlink that is there uh, is actually active. So these are um, hyperlinks, and let's see, this is right. So um, it's, unfortunately, ours aren't underlined normally, so it's hard to tell from here, but. Um, go through each one of those. Also, what makes it a little more complex is this part here, our, our product tree and our nav bar across the top are, are part of the header in um, the side navigation stuff, which aren't part of this page that I actually I worry, I want to check. So having a tool that would rip every link would, would while it would be helpful, it would be a lot of extra noise that I don't necessarily care about. So the script I wrote um, <coughs> I have a hotkey where it just it'll pull up here. What I've done also is I can say, okay, this these are the IDs on the page, and I know for our um, our main this area in here is this uh, for I don't know the naming nomenclature of why it's called this, but if I if I take this tool and show you when I drag this, you'll see it's it's outlined in different areas, and when I get to here, see that frame? Notice right here it says this ID, and that's what this one is. So I've preset this one to default to that if it's available. If it's not, you can change it, or you can go higher up. Um, I could pick up something higher up in here, but hopefully I can get back to that. Okay. Um, let me close this because we don't need it. And also I built in the option of, sometimes I don't actually want to verify the URLs. I just want to get the, the, um, the page, the URL, and everything. So first, let me let me demonstrate it without verifying the URLs. So I'm going to hit submit. What it's going to do is it's going to rip this page. It's going to parse out a lot of the information, dump it in Excel for me, which makes it really easy to uh, to to look at the URLs, to look at the the text that's there, to make sure they're all going in the right places. They're not going to our our um, test and development uh, location if it's online, uh, if it's in our production lab. Um, and also to make sure they're going all the right, um, all the literature documents are going to literature, not to a link. So first, let me just run it, and you'll get an idea here. So, oh, I should have mentioned that. But um, so it it here it took it, you know, three seconds basically. And what see this these numbers here, right? This is the, and I also hyperlinked it. So this one, this is the actual hyperlink. If I come back here to this one, so I had it rip the page, um, and insert a number around each hyperlink and then come back and rewrite the page so you can visually see it. It also saved a local file that has um, this content so I can give this to the developers. Uh, but So one, two, three, so so if I'm over here and I'm looking at this and go, oh, this seventh link, this learn NFC, um, right, is it is it going to the right place? Here's the URL. Um, this is the text itself. If there is an ID, like these don't have IDs, this, these do. Which, which also um, goes into our site catalyst uh, tracking. Um, it's easy to tell that way. And then also we scroll over to the right and you can see the actual A tag, which has the code behind it. Um, oh, a couple other things I built into this. Here is the page name for site catalyst and then when you mouse over in the comments I have the, I forget what it's called, the content group maybe. Um, that one I rarely use, but this one is nice because a lot of times I didn't use that for tracking. Um, this is the actual URL, um, the name of the page. This is the URL it was ripped from. Um, the over this also tries to name the tab kind of close to what it is. And then over here, what I've done um, is I have taken the top 15 words. I think it's 15. I, I adjust it right now. I think I have it set at 15. Uh, but it takes the top 15 and tells me like 49 times the letters TI were on that page. Uh, 25 times tools, 21 software, 18 AT4, 16 products, and so on, right? So it can help a little bit in understanding what's actually on the page and making sure we have the right top keywords. I know that's not, you know, the only and probably not even the most important thing anymore, but um, I figured, you know what, why not? It's there. Uh, and now there were also a total of 37 links on that page. If I scroll down here so you can see there's 37 each one. Um, now, now I'm going to actually I'm going to leave this one open. Let's just navigate to the next one, and I'm going to when I well, I think this one might have a lot of links. Let's skip that one because I was going to demonstrate verifying. This one probably isn't too bad. Yeah. So, so now when I launch it, I'm going to say yes. I still want that area, but I'm going to say verify the URLs, and 
now when I hit submit, it still here does the same thing, but over here you'll see it's going and it's ping, pinging this URL and verifying. Now I've I've put some stuff in here. If it's a JavaScript thing, um, skip it just because I haven't fleshed out all that stuff yet. I'm sure I can figure out some of the stuff. But it goes through and will validate all the URLs and make sure they're all valid. Um, now it took us 18 seconds, right? There was 54 URLs on that page. Uh, looks like nothing has a name ID. Here is the text. Right, these are the actual URLs. And notice also, this is the part that that becomes very interesting to me. Of like, hey, sometimes this is the structure for the URLs, but sometimes we do something. Oh, I'm sorry, that's a bad example, but different, right? And it can help easily spot check: are we are we setting them up consistently in the right way? Is the right stuff listed? Again, if if we came up with one URL that was bad. Um, we can quickly come over here and look at this a tag to see if there's something obvious there instead of going into the page. Obviously, we'd have to go back up into the page to fix it, uh, but this still is a quick and easy way. Um, let's go ahead and notice here this one says tech that it changed the tab name to technical documents. Here's the page name, 54 links, um, the title of the page, the URL. Let's go back and try applications. Hopefully, one of these. Um, it'll come up with a, a bad URL. Not that I want a bad one, but... And sometimes the, the verifying, it, I haven't set too much of a delay here that it, the ping doesn't return right, so it's, it's not perfect, but if it's green, I think we're good. If it, if it doesn't come back green, then um, it may or may not be there. So this is a new page we did. I'll verify these as well. Uh, but again, you can imagine how long this can take. Quite a tedious process to go be looking at this page at all of these URLs. There's um, looks like around 70, 67, uh, and and this is where this was saying I didn't want to do that one. It had several hundred because it'll it'll take a while to cruise through them. I didn't do it with the multi-threading stuff, which I I could go back and update. But considering it's a one-time kind of thing, where I I go in and hit it and. Uh, it, it, it just it saves an amazing amount of tedious time um, and you can find some broken leaks and, and like I said uh, notice where things are set up a little bit differently and you, than you realized and, and you can adapt them or, or notice that you have things that um, aren't shouldn't be there or directing to the wrong um, sometimes I, I saw some that were going to actually our UAT our user uh, access text testing site and uh, this one's looking pretty good, but this, just want to show you a uh, quick overview of the script. Let me, uh, I'll pull it up just for fun here. Uh, this is my actual script, and I'm not going to get into it, but overall, so it's it's under 500 lines of code. Um, actually, quite a bit of it's commented out, it, so it, it in reality, it um, it's pretty concise. Uh, it didn't take me that long to do, and uh, it can be, it's very, very useful. Uh, and that's it. Thank you.